Hello, YouTubers. June 25th, 2017. If you looked on your calendar, it's Sunday morning. What am I doing out here Sunday morning? Well, actually I ended up out here Saturday night because I was helping a, a guy with a small little job that he ran into. Poor guy, he private messaged me on Facebook and he was in a bad mess, so I straightened him out. So anyway, this morning, I said, I think I'll get up. Kathy is in taking it easy, and I'll uh, do a little project that might make my life a little easier next week. Um, it's actually a bit of a tire changer. Last week we did a, a video with Kathy using the tire changer. It was part of our, it's part of our series, History in the Making, and we called it History in the Making Part 2. And the reason why we call it History in the Making is because we're just taking tasks that Kathy has seen me do for 20 odd years and letting her try it. Now I think some people might have got it a little bit uh, messed up a bit because these aren't intentional videos to train you people or Kathy. It's just to see if Kathy can do it. And she enjoys it, as you could tell by that last video. And uh, some people took it as an instructional video. Some people even accused me of not even teaching her properly. So I'm not quite sure if we're going to continue on with the series because I don't want the people, I don't want people or viewers to mix it up and think that this is how you do a tire. This is just how Kathy and I wanted to have a bit of fun and we put it on video. But of course, there's always going to be somebody going to take it the wrong way. So we kind of, we're not kind of sure what we're going to do with that series yet. Most people liked it, but some people got pretty bent out of shape. The fact that uh, they didn't feel that I was teaching Kathy properly. So we'll see what happens. Kathy will have to be the, uh, the decision maker on that. So this morning I kind of told her, you stay in, you relax, take it easy. And uh, she had some programs on the PVR that she wanted to watch. And I said, well, you know what? You're never going to catch up to them unless you actually sit down and watch them. So hopefully she will do that. I'm doubtful, but because if she knows I'm out here, she's going to want to be out here. So this video, although it's probably going to be a very short one because... I can only do so much taping and, I, and it's Sunday and I don't want to be out here all day so I don't want to be stopping taping, starting, stopping. So I'll just give you the gist of it. What I plan on doing is having a unit or another one of those uh, electric hoists to lift. Sometimes we have big tires and of course my condition now uh, well, it's it's improved drastically. The doctor still says, you know, take it easy on the lifting for another little while. So I'm going to put this electric hoist above the tire changer so I can lift tires up off the floor and lay them on the tire changer. So that's what this is about. And you know what, even after I'm able to get back to 100% lifting, it's still going to be quite handy because We've had backhoe tires here, big ones. And I mean, it's all Kathy and I could do to slug them up on the top of the machine, so this will help, I'm sure. Now, what I've got here is, uh, well, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring the camera over a little closer for you. Okay, what I've got here, first of all, is another one of these hoists. You've seen me use these in the past. This one is rated at 220 or 440. What they mean about 220 or 240 is a single lift just from the hook to the spool is 220. If you double it up with the supplied pulley, it doubles up its lifting capacity to 440. And uh, like I say, we use these quite a lot. That one's on sale, or it was on sale last week for, I'm going to say around two or hundred and twenty dollars or something I, I don't really don't remember now because Kathy bought it again yesterday and they gave it to her for the sale price that we had uh, the other one for but anyway this here is what I call the bees knees 
It's a electric hoist frame and it's made to fit those electric hoists. And it comes with all the hardware except uh, the, lag, the lag bolts. I got them from home hardware. Uh, bolts, all the material that you need pretty well to set it all up. So I'm just going to take you over and I'm going to show you exactly what I have in mind and how I'm going to do this. Okay, here's the tire changer. Now, we'll go over here. I won't turn too quick so you'll get dizzy. In the past, we've been putting up these I-beams with the winch there and another one over there for any lifting. Uh, but this here, it's going to be used just for the tires. So I, if I put, if I made up an arm, say to go on this, well what I would have to do then, I would have to have a telescopic rig that would pick up the tire here with the hoist, come over and push in so it could fall down in the center. And I would use that particular half ton trolley for that. It's an I-beam trolley. But I didn't want anything that was going to be too heavy. So I came over, I went to Princess Auto and I bought this. And this whole kit that you see here is $60. Folks, you can't even come remotely close to building it for $60. It's rated at 1,320 pounds, so it's, it's more than enough to lift the tire. And also, if I get it right, I'm going to hook it up by that door opener. And uh, it's going to come out here, come out over above this thing here, and it will be able to swing out of the way when not in use. So that's my, that's my plan. And that way, by using that system, I won't even have to use I-beam, and I won't even have to use that uh, trolley to move back and forth. So hopefully what will happen is when I go to pick up the tire here on the floor it will be able to come out and just swing over here. So that is the plan. So I'm just going to uh, put a few things together there now and I'll be back shortly. I told you you couldn't stay away. I just finished telling them. Did you? I told you to go and take it easy. Well I had to come out. I you had, had to come something and give me my meds, my I breakfast. Did. Something very important you were missing. Yeah. So anyway, you're not staying here, are you? No, I'm going to head out now and do a little bit of cleaning and gardening. One of the things that I wanted to show them before we get too far here is this here. I'm going to come over and show you. Some of the hardware they give you with this stuff, this Chinese stuff, is questionable. Oh, yeah? So. I mean, when you look at the size of the hole that they drill for for that, and then you have to put, you know, it, it's it's really loose, right? Oh, so yeah, I'm going loose. to put a a heavier one in. This is only a temporary thing, just to see how everything fits. I have a reason for doing this now, which I will show you now shortly. Yeah, it's more solid. It's not very sturdy. Well, yeah, and I'm having a bolt sticking up because that way it won't stick into my head, which is nice. Oh, yeah. So what we have to do is get this close to that, right, as we possibly can. Then I got to, whoop, didn't know what that was. That was your stomach. That was spring behind you. <laughs> Behind me. Yeah, so all you have to do is measure Move from here. Water bottle here for a second. Here measure here. from here to there, because this is supposed to go on a pipe. Right? Oh, this machine? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to go on a pipe. So you got to adapt it to. Well, I can adapt it to a piece of plate, but I think what I might do is I still might put it on a pipe. Because it's not that heavy, right? No, it's not. And once I get it put on a pipe, then I'll modify it to fit the pipe. And I gotta get my distance because I don't have it's got to go 
up here. Mm, okay. I don't have a lot of choices here. There's beams and yeah. there's tracks and there's motors and tire changer in the way. So not a lot of wall real estate. No, you know. So this is this is where I'm to with it. This is going to be a one shot hole in one bull's ideal. <laughs> So what we'll do is I'll come back after and I'll show them, I, I guess, what I came up with. I, I, I can put this on a plate and mount the plate to that. Or I can put this on a pipe and have the pipe come out with little mounts and just mount the pipe on there and then bolt that to the pipe. I don't know yet, you know? So, but I, uh, I call it design on the fly. <laughs> That's right. See, see what, how much room I have now when I measure, then I'll get there and I'll measure, move a few wires and stuff, and, and hopefully we can make this work. Uh, this here is going to become redundant. That's supposed to go in here and expand it out to here. The problem is it's going to be too short. I want to try to avoid to use that dolly. So if I use that exactly that system, the tire is only going to come so far as here. And I need that tire to swing over and boom. So what I did, again at Prince's Auto, I picked up some inch and a half. Okay, yeah. Right? And then that will be put on here and I think I'll probably end up welding it, just tacking it. And it'll come out to, I think I need it five feet and that way uh, that'll bring me right over on top of that turntable so in other words i won't need the dolly because if i had to use the dolly and i had to attach it here it would be over here and the dolly would have to move over and then drop it down if i mount it here it can swing over and it will swing over and then clunk tire down wow really got to plan it out well well, it's, it's saving a hundred dollars by not using the dolly. Yeah, exactly. A hundred doll hairs is a hundred doll hairs. Exactly. Right? So, you know, that's, you know, that's the toe of a pair of boots for you. <laughs> you don't get the toe with <laughs> Yeah. You know, or a heel, right? Depending on the heel size, of course. Well, of course, it depends on the boot. You're not that, uh, you're not that high of maintenance. No, that's right. So yeah, so this is what I got to try to do here now. So we'll be back shortly and I'll show you a little bit of the progress that I'm making. Ooh, I found an easy way. Awesome. I said, well, what's the point of putting a plate up there? What I can bolt it right to the moldboard. Yeah, that's perfect. So if you look over here, it's, uh, there's no trouble for it to line up center of the back. See? No, exactly, yeah. And, uh, and you can swing it this way. And of course that means that my motor will be around this area. So I think that will do it. The only thing is I got to restrict it from going too far up against that remote. So that's my, that's my next dilemma that I have to, to deal with. That was challenges. Yeah, you know, well, one action always causes a reaction, no, that. Exactly. So, but anyway, it's, it's, it's come along good, so we'll yeah, continue on is. and uh, be back shortly. Well, it's done. Wow, that was worthwhile. Skipped a few steps in, in the process, but I mean, it's, it's, I mean, this is not groundbreaking by any means. I should come in, you should come in down, I'll put down the door so they can see what I got down up here. Okay. You won't see when you put the, yeah, some sunny, but a yeah. sun muggy. Oh, it's about to get even, really muggy. Even the paint is getting hard to dry. Yeah. yeah. So I went with that uh, extension piece, like I said, and uh, I basically bolted it to a little board. Yeah. And uh, let's see, so it'll, it'll swing out like this, right? And it'll pick up your tire. Right. You can see over in that other blue bracket, that's just a piece of scrap. I picked that in a bucket and I just bent it up and punched a couple of holes in it. And that keeps it from going over and hitting that, that controller, right? 
that box. Oh, okay, sort of like a, a break. Or yeah, a stop. it's just a stop. That's all. Yeah, it's nothing fancy, but it don't need to be fancy. It's it's up out of the way. It's not in my no. won't hit my head or. Now the only other thing I got to do with it, I got to make up, and I'm not going to do it today because I've had enough of this today. It's 11:30 in the morning. I'm going to make up the thing that goes down, and it opens up. Okay. So it grabs it exactly right from the center. Mm, it'll stay flat then. Yeah, it'll stay. It'll stay flat. It won't be on its side. But I just, you know, that tire, we just weighed that tire was 50 pounds. 50 40, pounds. 40, 48 and something. Yeah, just that one there. That's just that, and that's just this regular, uh, what, 16 inch tire? Yeah. Yeah, so let's have a look and see if it'll, if it'll work. So like I say, we've got to, uh, we've got to put it in there for now because we don't have this. Pretty smooth. Yep. Well, I mean, I've been here I'm lifting backhoe tires up there. Yeah. All you can do to move them. I know some truck tires aren't light either. No. Well, uh, we had a couple of 20-inch ones off a three-quarter ton shed here one day. We weighed them. They were 83 pounds. Yeah. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. I would say, if the truth was known, that's probably the biggest single. Uh, problem in shops is people ruining their backs with handling tires. Gotta be. Yeah, because I mean, face it, you know, we have pneumatic tools for everything else, but nobody thinks about yes. their back lifting these things up and down on the machine. And somebody said, well, why don't you uh, make a rig for lifting them up and put them on the machine? We do have that. Yes, we do. <laughs> and uh, it will be used, but I gotta make some modifications to it so I can maneuver it easy. The problem is in a big garage, what we have now is perfect. That's right. But this is very tight confined area, right? So yeah. I need to make it where, you know, it, it got swivels on all wheels so you can move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they've probably seen that in other videos. Yes, yeah. definitely, yeah. So it's, uh, so that's gonna work. It's gonna work well. And of course you had your handiwork put into it. Yeah, we named it. <laughs> Or it's showing. Maybe you can't see it from there. I don't know. Maybe the frame. Yeah. And I mean, again, that's all this thing is ever going to be doing. Just lifting that. Yeah. Perfect size winch. Oh, it is. When I get the uh, the other part made for it, of course, it's going to even be better again because you'll have uh, it'll just go down, hit in the middle, and then you're done. You right. Pick it up, it'll go down, it'll open up, and then pick it up. And then... Exactly. Yeah, that's really needed. Well, less than two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. And say two and a half hours to to do it up, right? Yeah. It's not, it's not in the way. No, it's not. No, it's so, perfect place. It's been a success. You didn't have to add to the ceiling or anything? You didn't have to add to the side? No. It, it's kind of a really bad area. You got my duck resuscitator here. That's right. Right? As mm -hmm. Jamie remembered the other day. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Tear it in. And uh, so that was in the way. Then you have all these door tracks in the way. Mm -hmm. So you really are very limited to where you can put this thing. And you need this where it can move so you can go over and pick up the wheel. Yeah. So it's not like you could even station, put a stationary there somehow. I mean, you could, I guess, drag your cable over, but then it's always gonna to want to take off towards the That's right. machine. This is the best of both worlds, right? Here it is in the Campino Tizzer. Perfect. So that's it. Good job. 
hope everybody has a great day. It's Sunday. It's a man. We had brutal rain last night. Oh, did we? Ever? I, I tell you, I don't know if I've seen that much rain in such a short period of no. time. It was crazy. Well, was no and mention of it. No, no it wasn't rain even morning. a forecast. And I mean, uh, your fish pond out there, that was climbing up the height of it. Oh yeah. And of course, we developed we developed that, that pump system for it with the float on it. That's right. So it was taking the uh, water out as it was building up. So it was, that that really worked well last night. It did. So you know what else? So we try to get you on the BX in the next video. Mm-hmm. Okay. Weather permitting. Yeah, weather permitting. Don't know about any more shop stuff because the uh, getting. People are telling me I'm not teaching you right and you could get hurt and then and I think some people really got mixed up thinking that you were gonna be going at tires all the time. No, that couldn't be further from the truth. No, that wasn't that was never that the, wasn't the plan in the beginning, no. It, it, I'll tell you how that I'll tell you how that video came about. That video came about Kathy went out to to mail some of those boots. That's you right. had to pile them in the mail. Mm -hmm. And when you came back, as a joke, you said, you don't have them tires done yet. That's right. Right? I said, I got one more left. I said, why don't you try it? Yes. You said, okay. Would I said, well, let me get the camera. <laughs> and that's how that started. And that's why you see us laughing so much during the video is because it was just so spontaneous. Yeah, and it wasn't training, it was just no. fun. <laughs> it was just to say, you know, well, okay, well, you know, how come you don't have it done yet? Well, you try it, okay? Oh, I wanted to see if I could do it. Yeah, and you did. Yeah, and yeah. I did. Very first time. Or remember, because like you say, you don't pay attention to procedures no, no. unless exactly. you're doing it yourself. Well, we were talking about that after. We go into the city, I drive. But when I couldn't drive, you were in the city, I'd say, well, why didn't you turn down there? We've been turning down there for 20 years. You said, I never paid attention when you were driving. No, I went a completely different route. Yeah, it's just the way it is, right? Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll, you know, there's always going to be people that's, you Well, know, that doesn't matter if that's... That's going to take it wrong. Yeah. And I mean, most people did enjoy it, so it was a great bit of fun. It, it was, and wow, the comments are spectacular. Uh, <laughs> really, it was fun reading the comments. Oh, there's too. no doubt about it. I'm yeah. telling you, I was. I we was, had a ball. We we still watch it and laugh. Oh, it was so funny. Yeah, I think it's the only video actually we sat down and we watched complete. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was so funny. Yeah, because we tend to be filming filming them, and we know what's going on. So. Yeah, and to, plus when you you uh, you post it up, you you upload it, you move on to other things. That's right. You're busy. So. But anyway, just a, a little bit of a video for you this morning, just to let you know, kind of a continuation of when you were doing mm -hmm. the work on this. And, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to make my job a little easier. That's right. Now, you're not going to take a 13 or a 14 inch tire and use go through all this trouble. You're going to pick it up and put it on there. But some of those tires are quite heavy. Very heavy. So this is, a, this is an alternative. Maybe some days you come out and you don't feel like hurting your back or you might already have to start on a bad one. This will save it yeah. for less than 200 bucks. Man, it's well worth the money, isn't it? It sure is. So folks, we'll see you in the next video. You guys take care, don't go texting and driving. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. People are dying on the roads every day. And uh, watch out for motorcycles, because uh, a lot of people, you just don't see them. So be vigilant, watch, 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 you know? Right? Yeah. And uh, don't take handicap zones unless you're permitted to. With that, we'll say take care and God bless.